sure. by jumping in and getting involved with this is absolutely working. When we speak up, people will listen to you. And there are so many people here this afternoon have already come in to turn in tattered flags. There are a lot of listeners here at Sanderson Ford. You have always done the hard work when it needs to be done. You turn out for the rallies. You're the people that wave the flag. You're the people that will always motivate and get moving when something needs to be done. And I can't think of anything more important than protecting the state of Arizona from this onslaught of people calling us racists. Call us wrong. Call us wrong if you like. But now is the time to fight back against these people because we, we cannot stand any longer to have this. Go around the state of Arizona as you drive through the valley, even if you disagree with Senate Bill 1070 and you don't like the law, look around the valley. Look at the names of streets, look at the names of buildings and parks and schools and the museums that are, that are dedicated to Hispanic art and Hispanic culture, to the food and how we are so deeply influenced, architecture and everything else, we are so influenced by Hispanic culture in this society in Arizona. There is no way, if you look at it honestly, that you can say that we live in a racist place. There are so many people that live or visit here for the first time that fall in love with the place. I moved here in 1995. I came here on vacation once in 1992. The minute I had an opportunity to live in the state of Arizona, I moved from my hometown in Florida to come and live here. And I feel like I'm an Arizonan. I, this is where I live, this is where I, I, my family is, and I love it here. And for people to criticize you and I and call us names because we are doing something to protect our border. I had this conversation this afternoon. I was at a barbecue this afternoon for uh, the, that fallen police officer for Phoenix PD. Plea, the Phoenix Law Enforcement Association is doing a barbecue that started at 11 o'clock today and it's going until 1 o'clock in the morning and they're feeding cops and firefighters and raising money for this guy's family. And we were, we were talking about living in Arizona and what's going on and how the face of illegal immigration is being painted. And the people that are detractors of this law want to say that the people that we're after are the hardworking people trying to improve their lives and that's absolutely false. We live here. We know what we're dealing with. Go to the border. Look up the pictures of what's going on there. Go ask a rancher when their windows and doors are boarded up, like from the movie The Outlaw Josie Wales, and, and ask them. Go ask the family of Rob Krentz. Go ask the family of the officer in Pinal County who was just shot a few weeks ago. Now we're finding out a couple of murders in Pinal County are tied to the drug wars up here from Mexico. There are crimes that are being committed that are border crimes. There are incursions across our border. We're not racist. We are trying to protect what we love. We love how beautiful this state is. You got the Sierra Club and all these environmentalist organizations that are so outraged at what happens. Every time you want to dig up a cactus in the desert, they want to put you in jail for 25 years. Has anybody seen what the southern border looks like because of the incursion of people that are sneaking across this border and the devastation that happens there? It's, it's reprehensible what's going on. What makes it worse is when you and I, when the people in the state of Arizona stand up and say, we need to do something because the federal government won't. We all agree it's the federal government's responsibility. They're not doing their job. They refuse to do their job. As a matter of fact, if you remember, Governor Brewer went to visit the president. She went into the belly of the beast. She went to see President Obama. And she asked President Obama to make a commitment, and he did. He said, within two weeks, my staff will be represented. We will come to the state of Arizona. We will tour the border. We will take a look at what's going on there. We're going to assess the situation, and we're going to help you. He gave Governor Brewer his word that within two weeks, they would be here. They're not here. And what they've said is they're not coming. We will follow up with a letter. Right now, we're too busy. Once again, we've been pacified when the TV cameras are there. They are all smiles and pats on the back and they want to wave to the camera. And every camera in the country, in the world as a matter of fact, watch Governor Jan Brewer walk out of the White House and go to the podium where she said he made commitments. It was a good meeting. I'm going to take him at his word. But we're going to wait and see. We're going to see what happens. Well, what happened was absolutely nothing. And if you didn't hear the story, I read the story to you yesterday. Our former governor, Janet Napolitano, who is now the Homeland Security Director, is working hand in hand with Saudi Arabia to help them secure their border with Yemen against terrorist incursions into their country because it's a very difficult border to defend and they're going to militarize that border. 
No, no offense meant, Jan, but why don't you come on back to Arizona and see if you can't help us out with our border? How about you protect us and do your job, and we'll gladly stand down. We'll gladly let the federal government enforce its own laws, but since you won't, we will. And it's about time you and I stood up and said we're not going to stand for it anymore, and that's what 1070 did. So if you're sick and tired of being called a racist, how about now you're being called a Nazi? by an alderman from the city of Chicago named Danny Solis. KFYI.com, go to the Mike Broomhead page. Emails, phone calls, faxes should be going to this man's office all weekend long. We should let him know exactly what we think. A lot more coming up here in just a few moments. So whatever you do, don't go away. Changing in their flag. Now we got people eating ice cream. <gasps> Bad for you. Make you fat and that kind of stuff. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Another person walking in. We're going to be at the 200 flag thing jiggy real shortly here. About 4:32. Got two more people wandering in to flags. Mike rode his motorcycle in. That's Mike's broomhead's Harley Davidson. Exchange flags. Here at Sanderson Ford, 6400 North, 51st Avenue. Got a few cars out here and a few dozen people out here.